Now, yeah, Murph, I have you. Um, just waiting for everyone else to reconnect. Hi, we're back. Hello. Hi, Philip. Yeah. Hi. Okay, we're just going to set up again. Um, Hi, Marie. Uh, Hi, Marie. Hi, guys. Sorry, I was cut off. Um, well, that was the end of our time, so we just reconnected. Okay. Can you say to Louise, I come from her hometown? I'm from Drum, near Drum, where her ancestors comes from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was saying yes. that she still has a family connection in Drum. Mm. She has said she has relations, so I may know them. Yeah, well, she'll be on in a wee minute. Hi, Kira. Thanks a million, Kira, for joining. Welcome. With all those three well behaved doggies. <laughs> they were very well behaved. Is that, is that Leo? With you? That's um, Lola. Oh. They think oh, oh, who's that? That's that's Teddy and Molly. That's Molly. Molly. And that's Teddy. Teddy. That's Teddy that was a dog that couldn't get on with any other dogs. This is our oh. favorite. And that's Leo Theo. Um, and <laughs> I'm to blame for all three of them. <laughs> they're all gonna go mad now because they're going for a walk. Good job. All right, well, we'll see who's on now. Um, Philip, are you there? I, I am. Yes, I'm here. All right, I can't. Um, I can't see your video. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get the camera back on. I'm not. I, I I'm not familiar with. I do. I live on Zoom on my laptop, but not on my phone. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm just... um, the, the second button on the way in, if you press on, if you press on your photo, um, then you'll be able to see the second button over is start video. Okay. Ready. Here. Here. Any join? Yeah, hang on. No, Molly, come okay, here. it's okay. Oh, Mary Organ, hello, how are you? Hi. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mary, how's it going? Hi. Good. Uh, Louise was on a wee while ago. I'm hoping she'll be able to rejoin now. Um, and uh, Philip is here. Um, I don't know. Do you know Philip? Bernie writes here. Uh, hi, and Bernie. I, uh, I'm bad. I thought I was gone. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I could go at any minute too because the uh, the internet's not great here tonight with the weather. Yeah. Wild yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, Mary, you you've known Louise and Bernie for quite a while. Uh, yeah, a long time. Yeah, long time. Yeah. 
we're sort of the dinosaur uh, conversations about greyhounds i think is it or, or maybe the, the backbone well maybe yeah maybe yeah, yeah. um maybe so yeah. So Sarah, I just read here, sorry, sorry just off the internet, it's a quick <laughs> off the internet, the last racing track in Iowa is shut down in, in May, so that's another state over there that they got in. So we're on the right track. That's the last um, one. In, last in, one in, in Iowa, yeah. Iowa. Do you know whereabouts in Iowa it is? Yes, I have my trusty piece of paper. Uh, I'll spell it D U B U Q U E. Dubuque. No, Dubuque. No, Dubuque. Dubuque. Oh, Dubuque is it? Okay. It has cost 58 jobs and it's in the Clinton Herald. So that looks good. I got back on. So, so realistically, the, the flights to, say, say, for example, I think a lot of greyhounds leave Ireland and um, they go to maybe Sweden and they've got 36 hour trips. I never, did, I never did Sweden. I, I just did America, New York yeah. and Boston, you know. The, G, yeah. the, GS, the GSPCA do Sweden. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people do Sweden, yeah. 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 Um, is Louise back on there? Yeah, I am. Yeah, she's here. Hi, yeah. Louise. Hi, Louise. Dennis Lee, this is my name. I want to let you know that uh, in relation to your peace activism, uh, yeah. Margarita Jack is one of the people who were up for that court case. Oh, about, wow. Um, uh, yeah, she's she's based here in Galway. I met her during the week. Wow. Um, she was uh, pro She was doing a vigil on Shop Street oh, in Galway, that's great, Main that's Street. Great, that's great. Will you send me her email and info, contact info, please? Yes, I'll send. I'll send that to you afterwards. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. No, the uh, yeah. the group that I'm working with here, who's going to be going over there um, to uh, to to you know be on trial or charged with the Shannon situation, is uh, it's called Veterans for Peace here in the states. That's the two, the two, the two, the two uh, U.S. Uh, veteran military men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, Louise, uh, so Louise, Margarita Darcy is a long-time <laughs> activist like yourself for peace. Oh, good. Oh, and good. Uh, she, was, she was married to the writer John Arden, and she herself is a writer and actor and activist. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, she's, that, that's great. she's, she's like yourself. She is oh, a pretty wonderful. incredible person. I send you her email. And oh, I love it. That's great. Thank that's you. great. That's great. That's great. And I was going to uh, be in touch with the, the veterans here t later today, so I'll I'll mention. Good. Okay. Connections and connections. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, one, 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 one question for you, Louise. Yeah. What What do you What do you see as the future, or how How best should we proceed to be effective in um, our activism in combating the problems that exist? Well, what I was thinking about is, uh, you know, I helped with some of the background on uh, the RTE, the Running Through Their Lives, um, that uh, the, the person, the photographer that I've worked here for a really long time, John Watern, his, his were the photos that they used for the dogs in the quarry, the greyhounds in the quarry. Um, so, I mean, I still have, you know, the connections, you know, then, uh, you know, maybe I can, I can help to try to revitalize those. Um, I think it's a lot of, uh, I, the other thing that I could try to help more with is, I think the Irish government cares a lot about what the Americans think about the, Ameri the Irish government. So if we could get uh, more bad press over here for the Irish government, I mean, especially in Boston. Go for it. Go for it. Anytime you like. Okay, I will. Um, <laughs> but I mean, those kinds of things help. I think. Yeah, awareness. Awareness is key. People. People don't understand. Um, no, they don't, they don't yeah. understand at all the plight of 
Please of animals in, in, in so many different situations, greyhounds included. Um, yeah, 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 and, and it seems, always seems to me, and it's awful for what happens to all the animals, but greyhounds are so aware um, and so sensitive and aware of what they're, what's going on around them and what's being done to them. It seems extra awful. But, oh, completely. Like I, I um, got the closest I'd ever been to um, to a group of uh, hair coursers. Oh yeah. Recently, Ooh, and wow. they got as close as they'd ever been to an activist, and it had all happened by mistake. We'd actually uh, met in a pub. Oh, that's it good. Was the first time I was out in two years. Wow. And we, uh, I had gone down to Tipperary, uh, Clonmel. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. And uh, my my long term friend, who is sixty five, and I went to find some music when we got there, and uh, we befriended three tables of people, mm. and they actually got to the point where they said, "Come on over and join us." You know, dancing was restricted; you weren't allowed to dance, so we were kind of boogieing over towards each other every now and again, and meeting when we were out smoking and blah da da. And we chatted about various things. And then this woman grabbed my arm and said, oh, God, Tara, you're going to have to come back down to one of our meets. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what wow. do you mean? <laughs> and, she, <laughs> and she said, one of our course and meets. And I went, oh, my God. And I really, I literally broke down in hysterics because I just find it, I just find it so ironic that I would land myself for two hours of course, of befriending course. these people. Right, 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 right. That's why. And you know, af um, shortly after, of course, all the music died down, and and we sat there talking. Wow. And and, and it was quite interesting. Well, sure um, it was. I'm sure it was. It was, it was quite interesting that we had an awful lot of things in common uh, in in our lifestyles, mm -hmm. um, in in our thoughts, and the way that we would bring up our children, how we how we interacted with our families. Yet, wow! wow. Yet great. there was this this huge thing that that separated us. The elephant but, in the room, yeah. Yeah, but we 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 realized no, that's that, good. That's great. That's, that's yeah, that's, it that's was really great. Important. It is. It yeah. is important. It's very important to um for for people to to realize, you know, like we were saying earlier on, when when people are 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 laying into people, mm -hmm. um, like what happened to you when people are getting right, right, um, right. bullied, bullied, basically. Mm -hmm. that that we have to understand that each one of us is just a human being mm -hmm. you know we're just human beings and we've been brought up in certain ways and we have different ideals and different thoughts um but that doesn't mean to say that they can't be changed right the bottom line is still the bottom line yeah hmm. um hi carol hello carol hi We'd ask, is, is Mary, is Mary Organ here? Is she still here? Yes. We ask, yes. ask Mary to give us a few words and tell us how her, how her, how her work is going down in the Southeast. We don't know anything about that. Good. Yeah, let's hear from Mary. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. You can hear me, yeah? Yes. Yeah, I can hear sure. you. Yeah. 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 I've done before, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, there's um, the, the, the after the RTE investigates program, there were a few protests at Waterford track. Um, there were a few protests at Kilkenny track and then the interest died off. Um, of course, come COVID, come the winter, um, people did away. Now, I, I mean, Louise knows I, I, I didn't specialize in greyhounds I always took greyhounds um, and uh, although in in many respects the situation is is far better than it was 20 25 definitely 30 years ago 
be because they're not being dumped left, right, and center on the on the streets or in the middle of nowhere. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's only because the dogs are ship now and they can't get away with it, and for no other reason. Um, mm -hmm. I wow. I always maintained, and that that and I mean, bearing in mind that thirty odd years ago we we didn't have social media, we didn't even have mobile phones. You know, there was a reliance on the media picking up or the newspapers picking up on a story here, there, maybe, you know, now and again. There was no way to enlighten people effectively about the problems. Uh, you know, during those years, there, there could have been maybe 15 plus thousand greyhounds being killed every year. And yeah. there was no way to tell people. Mm. Um, Couldn't spread the awareness. I always, yeah, I always maintained that the only thing both the government and in particular the IGB was afraid of was bad publicity. Um, always. And I agree. Always. And to keep on every little nugget that, that's available, plaster it everywhere. Mm. Um, be, because they have no way to run that they cannot justify anything. Um, but of course, yeah, the problem you have in Ireland is that there are so many views taking even money. And whilst I don't necessarily disagree that the industry shouldn't pay for these dogs, um, what they're getting is a pittance. It's insulting, really. And it buys silence. Whether that's admitted or not, that's 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 the way I I think um, that 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 the rescues that are that participate in taking the money, I never did. Um, mm. But again, I specialize in greyhounds. <laughs> I didn't, you know, to me a dog was a dog. Um, it didn't matter what four legs and a waggy tail, you know, whether it was a greyhound or a terrier, it made no odds to me. Um, but there are rescues that specialise in very health. If, if, if I could do it on my own 30 odd years ago with no funding, no government funding, no real funding from the public, um, you know, it was, it was either what I earned, what I had, or what I begged or prayed would come in to pay the vet bills. Mm. If, if the if me could do that and Marion Fitzgibbon way back then, mm. they know there's such a reliance when there's social media, there's, you know, Twitter and there's Facebook and there's, you know, everything available. Mm. Why take that 130 euro per dog? Why, why? allow the, the industry that, that, that degree of credibility for the sake of 130 euro, mm. you know? A, a dog is a dog is a dog you know where they come from once they're in your rescue is irrelevant to, to, to me anyway that's just my thinking on the whole thing but, you know but that was just me I mean there, there wasn't a great owner or trainer that ever brought me a dog that was under any illusion as to how I felt about what you know greyhound racing but they still brought me their dogs Mm -hmm. um, I did make a big deal of it, in fairness, um, because ultimately they have you over a barrel at the same time. You know, if if you make a big deal of it, then, you know, like it or not, they are so spiteful, they would kill a dog rather Completely. than give you, give you the next drop of unwanted that mm. they need to get rid of, place the new batch of hopefuls. And that and that's just the way they are. That's the mentality. Um, how many greyhounds do you have now, Mary? Pardon? How many greyhounds do you have now? I don't, I've only a lurcher here now for uh, um, because I closed down in twenty eighteen. Uh -huh. um, I had yeah, um, I had to Louise. Um, the um, I help a local rescue with with their lurchers or their greyhounds okay. and get Great. them over to the UK, okay. get them over Great. to Forever Helm. Um, it's, no, I'm just know, curious, because, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 
suppose my brain hasn't quite accepted the fact that lurchers and greyhounds, perhaps greyhounds are safer here than lurchers, mm. um, but I still don't think lurchers are necessarily sound still. But that's just me perhaps mm. being a bit old fashioned or a bit old school, you know? Um, mm -hmm. it, it, I, uh, or stubbornness, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you know, you know, there were there were um, uh, uh, there in the summer. There were three greyhounds here that I took from a, a local trainer who closed <laughs> down. He was closing down. But he was his last three dogs. Wow. Um, and <coughs> it literally took me months to rid them of the tapeworm. Um, it took it was three flea doses to actually kill the amount of the sheer the fleas on them. Wow. Um, that they stank to it. Now, I mean, this guy, he was a very well known and, and <coughs> I suppose a respected trainer. Um, one of the dogs had been left in a run for over 12 months because her owner had brought her into him for training. She, she was no good. The owner told him to kill the dog and he didn't kill the dog in fairness, but he destroyed her mentally because she had no, she, she was given food and water and that was it. Mm -hmm. um, no human contact at all. Now she, she spent around six months here and then she went over to Forever Hounds Trust and um and she and she did get home um but the 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 the, the dog was mentally blocked right, she right, knew right. nothing he was feral really you know uh now body condition he fed them he certainly fed them there's there's no question about that but i mean abuse the, comes the fleas, in many forms right 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 yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 He should have been reported mm -hmm. and charged. When he was closing down, Bernie, the last three It doesn't dogs. matter. He still did what he did, whether he, he was did closed down or not. But, the, you know, the, the, the IGP, they're not going to, Bernie, they're not going to do anything. They never do, do anything. And we and have to pay laws about this, you know. You know, as yeah. individuals, we have to pick our battles to in order to, to make sure that we can be useful to the next one. We, you know? we still have I mean, to act he's, on cruelty. We're picking you know? our battles every day of the week, guys. Well, I mean, I mean one way that we many... could help is that they help. They hate us at the track. If everybody around the country yeah. got out of their local track, mm. whatever, yeah. one or two nights it's on a week, that would really help. Like we're doing Dublin, I try to get y'all. It's only on the SIS. It's not, there's no punters there. So I'm trying to work around the country, try to get people out locally. That would yeah. really help. Well, is, is there anything we can do to help from, from our, our angle here in, in uh, Sentience Rights Ireland? Can you, can you, people who are involved hands on in Greyhounds, can you tell us um, what is it we should be doing or how can we help? What tracks there are protests at, um, or what tracks you want protests at, when, where, dates, we'll publish everything you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh. and, and Louise, if you could possibly publish, um, you know, maybe work on something that... Oh, sure, um, no, we've got you, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, 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 for sure, yeah. No, you know, you, you know yeah. Bernie, you know Mary, you know all these guys right, here. Right, right, oh, yeah, no. Um, and uh, yeah, and Philip Murphy is a good contact. Um, he knows a lot of people too. Uh, yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely. No, I think that uh, yeah, and, and like I, now that the like COVID at least is sort of on the wane. At least this version of it for right now, it, wow. it least it's, it's a it's a, a pause that we could make good use of. No, that makes sense to me. It does. Yeah. And so they, I was you know. I was thinking I was thinking Louise, following on what you were saying, uh -huh. that, and 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 Tara as well that the Irish government, indeed, the Irish public, are very conscious of what the American public The Americans think, think yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Irish, America, Irish America has a huge voice here with their, you know, yeah. the, the oh, diaspora yeah. 
the, yeah. 20, the 20 million. So if, yeah. if, if we if we could get some of our information, the, the terrible information that comes out every year on statistics uh -huh. right. Uh, right. From, from the government, from the Greyhound board, and then what, what activists themselves can find out about, you know, like... Uh, right, right. Yeah, the, uh, more, the more information, the, the better. Yeah, yeah. If we no, could send that information to, uh, what, what would be the best outlets in America to send that to media outlets? Well, the well, first, you, well for starters, you can, you can send it to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Louise Coleman, 10 at AOL.com. Um, yeah. But um, the thing with the media over here right now, and I don't know whether it's the same in Ireland, is uh, the media is what people keep referring it to as hollowed out. I mean, there are many fewer reporters, many fewer editors. A lot of people, there's like a lot of the Boston TV stations now only have one truck to, to cover whatever is going on. Um, mm. What works in a lot of ways is, you know, like with the piecework and that kind of stuff that I do, we get people to take pictures, take video, and then we send that we send those to the uh, um, maybe the media people. Um, but yeah, no, I think all of that, that, that sort of whole approach helps a lot. Um, there's still a, an enormous interest in, in greyhounds here. And I, I do think things are sort of at a pivotal point right now. Every once in a while, something like that happens. Um, but it would be yeah. interesting to, to see what uh, Connor Ryan, that was his name, I think, um, the art yeah. person, um, to see what, uh, what they're up to. Um, because he uh, he was really very uh, strong about the whole thing. I mean, he kept on and on and on. So, but, but it's sort of a combo. It's like trying to put people together. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that makes sense. I can, I'll, you know, try to make all the connections I can. That'd be great I mean, to, to spread some more than that. Yeah, I mean, there absolutely is a follow-up program to that Greyhounds Running For Their Lives program. Three years on, What's changed? Oh, yeah. Nothing. Right, right, Nothing. right, right, right. right. One, one, one care home operated by a prolific breeder and exporter of greyhounds for coursing to Pakistan. What's her name? That's it. What's her name? Oh, Vera something or other. Okay. Yeah. Vera Gench or Dench or Gen I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Vera Gench, I think. Okay. Um, the only one operating the, the official care home and uh, that's since all the promises made in in the oil in in 2019 in the aftermath of, of the program and i mean they the, the igb still hasn't recovered from that program oh yeah no. never will it never will but the the grants it have gone up the government assistance yeah. has has yeah. um it, it I, gone up I, I don't know if Connor has, I would imagine, I mean, I spoke to Connor, Marion spoke to Connor, God knows how many people people spoke to Connor and gave him pictures and information is that there. Uh -huh. It's very likely that there's plenty of information left to do another program. But I mean, there is a follow-up there to be done. As oh, yes, there, to, there is. No, there definitely Yeah, all the promises. And they, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have the money made. to do it. Yeah. I mean, they can send people to China. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, no, no. Still I think what, they still uh, don't. what you were talking about, uh, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Rice, what you were talking about, about uh, decoupling, uh, splitting up the grant money between the Greyhounds and horse racing that they are voted on in one package in, in the Parliament, in the Dáil. Could you give us a bit about that, Bernie, and what you're thinking on that and how we can go about it? Right. Well, both of them are funded. So we feel that horse racing is more prestigious and whatever. They, they get more than the greyhounds do. So we feel if we can decouple the greyhound racers from the horse racers, they'll have to fight for their money on their own. They might not get it as automatically as they get it now. So it might be worth a try. To get that done and see where we go from there. If they have to get, if yeah. they have, they have to get funding on their own merits rather than on the, the package, the horse and greyhound fund, it might be yeah. harder. Yeah, but but Bernie, they, 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 
Yeah, the IGB wouldn't exist without that funding. It hasn't. I mean, every track is no. losing money, from what I understand. Sure, the 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 and people going in, they're not making money. They can hardly pay the ESP bill, I'd say. You know? We're I mean, there, every there week. Is, you know? Yeah. Or on year three the, of this. Yeah. The two yeah. must be separated, kind of one fight at a time. You can't take on the horse racing industry. I don't think that's possible right now. Well, we're not until we get rid of Greyhound racing. If you concentrate on racing, um, but I mean, the circulation of that program, I, I throw it up on my Facebook page every now and again, just in case anybody missed it. Um, you know, information about Irish dogs found in Pakistan. There was one posted this week, a bit encaged. I think it's been ascertained um, that the, the, the dog was an Irish greyhound still registered in Ireland. Um, the one that was, I don't know if anybody saw it, he was killed in Pakistan, probably doing boar coursing or something. Yeah. Um, it was hit by a car. The, that one. The, the, you know, it, it's that kind of stuff that needs to get pushed and pushed and pushed into the you public were, mind. You guys were all involved in, in that um, program and, and your informations and everyone, everything. Um, so, you know, Sounds great idea. Just get get back in touch with them all and 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 do a three year on program and and add in. Don't we're on, we're on that, but That's so far there's no move on anything. Simple. It's a bit complicated, but I'm not going into it here. I've already okay. spoken. Can I ask? Can I ask okay. Louise a question, please? Uh, yeah. Louise, so Louise, are you aware? Are you are you aware of? Um, a TV radio program coming out of New York called Democracy Now. Of course. Okay, so um, that is replayed here again in Ireland. Is it? Um, every every uh, the, 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 they do five shows a week. Really? And there's a there's a channel here in Ireland called RTE Extra, which we get it on the radio. It's a digital service. We get the the, the television show that Jamie Goodman does. We get uh -huh. that we get that in a radio version because it's radio friendly as well. Right, as right, 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 sure. It's all audio. Okay. And um, it comes out again twice, twice every every program from Monday to Friday is rebroadcast here twice uh, in, wow. in every day in in Ireland again, and it's it's broadcast all over the world. They're they're syndicated to about 180 uh, stations, radio and TV all over the world. So what I would like to do is to send some information in there or send the information to you. Oh yeah, you no, 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 you both. Yeah, no, that would that would be great. Um, yeah. So I, I, what's what's the end of your um, email address? Please? Okay, it's Louise Coleman. Yeah. Ten. And. Um, at AOL.com. At which? AOL. AOL. AOL.com. And uh, Dennis, and, I have it. Okay, and Philip Murphy was just asking if. Uh, um, if uh, Philip, say what you were going to say. Uh, he was talking about uh, trying to connect with uh, the vegan people. And then the thing is, I think the more that we can connect with other groups that are sort of different than we are, and interested in different things. I mean, I'm always trying to get the animal people that I know um, and the peace people I know uh, to sort of have at least some connections with each other because uh, it's, it's I can get like sometimes on Facebook, I get 3,000 people who like, you know, are interested in something I post. And, and so if I could get 3,000 people interested in stopping nuclear weapons, you know, things would be dandy. Um, but um, it, it's, so, so it is just in a way, uh, I think that it's just trying to get uh, the more connections possible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, networking is so important. Um, I'll get in touch with Sandra from Go Vegan World okay. and... Okay. Okay. I'll send her the recordings, of course. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Of, that'd be great. The yeah, two yeah. meetings, sure. Um, um, this evening and have a chat with her. Good, good, good. No, no the more will, connections, the better. Yeah. This will be put up. This, this, what we've done this evening, will be put up on our YouTube channel, Centrally uh, oh, Rights Ireland. It'll be oh. permanently archived there, so anybody can access it okay. if they want to go back over it again. So. And you'll you'll send me the link, yeah. I will. I will. I'll send you the link and I'll send you lots more information as well. Oh, no, that's fabulous. I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Just, 
I just want to say, Louise, thank you very much. This has been a fabulous. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I think so. It is, it's great yeah. to see people. It's great to see people. Yeah. Like, I haven't seen it in ages and ages. But and, um, and Bernie, I'm really and, pleased. And Bernie and uh, Mary and everybody else. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, uh, great program. Great people. Great to be over. with you all. And when you're over in April, Louise, hook up with us all and hopefully we'll meet up. Philip, are you due over to Ireland anytime soon? I, I am due. I'm, you know, I, I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to Louise and maybe we can coordinate. That'll that would be, be so much that fun. Would be, that would be great. That would be grand, right? We have a blast. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to be careful we don't get thrown out. Be careful because grand also means 1,000 euros. <laughs> All right. Great. Okay. Okay. We'll all keep in touch. Thank you. We will. Oh yeah. To be with you all. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Louise. Talk to you soon. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. Definitely. All right. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Oh.